Enforcer. I believe they're called Enforcers, Gordon. I sell women's shoes. <laughs> and the Stallion. Stallion, baby! I am not what you would call a handsome man. I'll kick you in the nuts and you'll smile at me and like it. All night long. Welcome to yet another edition of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast. He is your host. He is the Stallion. I'm the Elmer Fudd to his Bugs Bunny. My name is the Enforcer. And I feel like we're living up to our nickname of the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast as per it's like 2 in the morning. Uh, it feels like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be up till uh, about 6 a.m. editing the show, posting the show, watching a uh, play reruns of Fixer Upper. On HGTV. I don't know why you find that to be humorous. At my I'm, plight, I'm literally dying. For, uh, for, <laughs> if uh, if ever we make it, I don't even want to say big and famous. I want to say below average, successful, and moderately comfortable financially. That's all I thought you. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, setting the bar high. What we would need is a blooper reel or outtakes because I safe to say the bulk of the enjoyment of this show is not in the actual show itself, judging by our viewers. It's more <laughs> in the pre show, uh, in which uh the stallion and I just sit at the table and banter for fifteen to twenty minutes of just just pure anger and frustration and uh, what else would you say we yeah. talk about? Well, it's not PG. We'll say that. No, it's definitely not PG. It's uh, rated R like your boy Xavier Woods, right? I was, you go. know what? You, 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 took me, uh, you took me to a whale A town uh, pretty, pretty <laughs> fast. Why lie? Whale we're, town. I think it's a golf course. San uh, Diego. I think it means... <laughs> so here we are. Listen... It's uh, and that's it for another episode. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joe wants to wrap up wrap as it up. per it's uh, ten thirty at night. But listen, here's our gonna... producer is telling us we only have we don't have a producer. That's that's, a lot. that's chance. It's not a producer. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna give our predictions for uh, this Sunday's giant balls of fire. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> great balls of fire. Great, great yeah. Balls. There's nothing great about these balls. I'll tell you that much. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> the joke's right itself. We're going to talk about uh, last weekend's New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, California excursion for the first ever uh, NJPW IWGP uh, US champion. We're also going to talk a little bit about uh, TNA Slammiversary, or as I like to call it, Slam 15. I'm not sure what... Um... Son of a bitch! What's the name of it? GF... So... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, just make a note for the producer to edit that in post. I will. I'll have uh, myself edit it in post. Son of a... <laughs> Something like that. Uh, in, no. GFW Slam 15. And uh, we'll probably talk... That's really it. Depending on how the show goes. And oh, we're going to talk about next week's edition of the Five Count, which uh, the Stallion doesn't even know what it is yet. Yeah, that's a shoot. I don't know what. That's it is. a shoot. He doesn't know. I like to keep him on his toes. All right. So where do you want to start? We got the. Uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, the Sunday. Yes. Let's start. Sacks with... of fire. Sa- uh, great balls of fire. Um, the first ever edition of Great Balls of Fire is this Sunday. It's a raw branded pay per view. Probably the last uh, ever. From it's presented by Rocket League, so I think it's okay. It's, it's got to be good. Uh, before we get into that, have you played Rocket League? I have play, played Rocket League. Get? Are you serious? Sure. You shill mark unbelievable. What? You actually downloaded Rocket League? Like a year or two, where we go when it came out, it was like a free download on. Uh, Is it still free? I don't know about that. I know I have not played it in a long time. But when it first came out, maybe like a year or two ago. It was a free download on place. I got PlayStation Four, and uh, I played. Did you it. win that? Did I win the PlayStation Four? I don't win anything, <laughs> so no. I purchased a PlayStation Four. Okay. And, uh, um, I played Rocket League. One of the very few times that I've played uh, games online, and um, 
with some some folks from my previous employer and uh, play a so, little uh, tag team Rocket League action. Let me get this straight. Yeah. You and people from your job played yes. Rocket League together? Uh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Like, you have a really good job. It wasn't at my, it wasn't at my job. It no, but like you, you, you. People from my job. That's really cool that you guys have like that kind of relationship. Yeah. When I, I go to my job, I get spit in my face. Yeah, I quit there and I don't talk to any of them anymore. But I mean, at the time, it was a good, uh. That's a shoot. We're shooting from the hip, cowboy. It was a good time. So presented uh, by Rocket League. Hold on, I, was, I kind of wasn't done with Rocket League. Dallas, I just want to bring up something real quick. Texas. Do you, do you remember, uh, Mutant League Hockey? Or uh, Mutant League? I do. Is Rocket League anything like that? Um, not really. I think it's more of a... Uh, it's kind of like a soccer type game, um, but it's with cars uh, or trucks or things like that. So you kind of play in like an arena, and it was like it's like two on two. You can do tag teams and stuff like that. And um, you know that's pretty much it. They have like I forget what it is like five minute periods or something like that, and you just try to score more goals on the other team. And that's uh, I'm gonna download that when I get home while you're uh, wrapping this up in post. Yeah, let me know how it is. I'm sure you'll get through a few games before I finish getting the show posted on the internet for everybody out there to hopefully listen to. Okay, back to... Boy, we are miserable bastards tonight, huh? All right, Great Balls of Fire. As you were saying, it's a raw-branded pay-per-view. Right now, we have eight matches on the card. I'm not going to list each one individually. We'll list them as we're talking about the matches. We'll start with the pre-show. Sounds reasonable. Neville versus Akira Tozawa, part of the Titus brand, the Japanese expansion, uh, for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Neville is probably the second longest reigning champion on the show. And having this match on the pre-show is a slap in the face of... Of all that is good in the world. Um, hmm. Yeah. Slap right in Donald Trump's face. So the thing is about this match is there hasn't been too much build. Um, it's only been, what, the last two or three weeks maybe? Has it been longer? I just haven't been watching Not, 205 I think it's, it's been more, it was more about Tazawa and Titus O'Neil trying to recruit him at first. And then once he did, getting him a Cruiserweight title match. I think that's kind of how it you know, was pieced together. Okay. So um, they've had the interaction, I think, the last couple of weeks, like you said. Um, but, yeah, there's not a whole lot of, I guess, depth or backstory to this. It's just another – the next challenger in line for Neville, he had beaten Aries about three months in a row. And then I think he beat TJP on an episode of uh, 205 Live. And now he's moved on to Tazawa. So – I don't think there's any reason to take the title off of Neville at this point. If you weren't going to put it on Ares during that feud, I certainly wouldn't take it off of Neville to put it on Tazawa here. So I would say that Neville will keep the championship uh, yet again. Wait, who was that other guy you mentioned? It, it, Austin Aries. Where's he? A double. 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 A, a, a missing. There were some interviews I read where he indicated he might be taking some time off to nurse some injuries and and things like that i don't know how true any of that is but he has not been around very much since then no and and that's uh maybe that's why they didn't put title on him but i agree with you i I like tozawa and i think he's a great talent but i also don't think he's the guy to take the title off neville because neville's had the title for so long now that when the title comes off of him it it should mean something and i don't know if tozawa is the right guy to do it unless you have titus i still wouldn't do it um so i'm gonna go ahead and say neville keeps the title on this one Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll go to the tag team title match. It is a 30-minute Iron Man match for the Raw tag team titles, and it's Cesaro and Sheamus defending against the Hardys. So it was just made an Iron Man match this past Monday on Raw. I have no desire and no disrespect to anybody to see the Hardys in a 30-minute Iron Man match at this point of their career. Is that, is, that, is that fair? Is that unfair? It's okay. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of. I don't have high hopes for this match, and I. Um, I think Sheamus and Cesaro need to keep the titles. I, I don't. I'm also done caring about the broken thing. I think it, it's past its prime. It's lost its luster. The bloom has fallen off the rose, and th- any other quip you want to put there. Um, I think the Hardy Boys gimmick itself is a little bit stale, um, and I just think Sheamus and Cesaro need to keep the titles more than the Hardys need to win them. So I'm going to say Sheamus and Cesaro. 
Yeah, I, I agree with you. I would keep it on Sheamus and Cesaro. I mean, I think they're they've done a nice job as a team. As they've kind of you know spent more more and more time teaming over the last however many months it's been, um, probably since late last year. And I think the Hardy Boys thing—they don't really need the titles at this point. Uh, I would probably leave it on Cesaro and Sheamus. The only problem is, I guess, if you leave it on Cesaro and Sheamus, I don't know who their next challengers would be um, if there's maybe as far as a babyface team would be concerned because Enzo and Cass obviously have broken up and the other teams on Raw are The Revival and Anderson and Gallows and unless I'm forgetting somebody uh, I'm not sure who, who else is a good team to challenge them so that'd be interesting to see what they might do with that but I, I would still keep the titles on them I wouldn't switch it back to the Hardys either I can't name another tag team on that show I really can't yeah, I, 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 there might be somebody that I'm missing that's obvious, but I, I don't think I am. Because, like, New Day went over to SmackDown, and uh, the Colognes went over to SmackDown. And I don't know if there's anybody. I'm sure there's probably. If there is somebody else on the world, we're definitely forgetting. But that, those are the teams that I remember. And that's right? bad if there's another tag team on the world that we're yeah. forgetting. But Enzo and Cast split, and then the uh, Anderson and Gallows and the Revival have been not really doing a whole lot in there. And the Revival came in as heels, right? Yeah. They, they were heels. So, I mean, you could do a Sheamus and Cesaro versus the Revival, but. Where where have they been? You know, so yeah. who who really knows? But um, I I don't know. Thirty minutes is a long time for the Hardys to go in an Iron Man match on a uh, WWE pay per view here. So without any kind of uh, ladders or anything like that. So we'll see. Uh, the next match on the card, I'm going to call this one the Stallion Special. This is uh, the Miz with Maurice, Bo Dallas, and Curtis Axel, the Miz Taraj, uh against Dean Ambrose. I like what the Miz has been doing. Um, I even like he's been kind of poking the bear with Ambrose the last couple of weeks, and uh, <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, I did not mean. I I swear to all, all of our listeners, I did not mean that with the bear thing. I promise you, I swear on anything. Um, you know how I feel about the dancing bear gimmick. You know, I think the dancing bear gimmick is money. Uh, I think that's it's a gimmick that's got some legs. That's upsetting. But this week on TV, Miz kind of buried Ambrose. Um, he kind of said he used to be edgy and he used to be this, that, and the other thing. And now he's kind of a run-of-the-mill chump and it means nothing. And I think um, I think maybe Ambrose has to turn it on and go back to that whole more of a badass dude and even channel some of his early uh, CZW roots. I want him to take a uh, sickle to Bo Dallas's forehead and then use a weed whacker on Curtis Axel. This is this is turning into a violent... Is there something you'd like to talk about, maybe, <laughs> before we move on to the next? No, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you're going to say Dean Ambrose... There are people attacking each other with weed whackers. <laughs> Listen, that it's, it pales in comparison to what Johnny Moxley was doing. Before he came to WWE. So if he's got to stab or shoot somebody to get his point across, let him do it, man. You want to get the guy over? Or you want him to toil in mid-card obscurity? I want him to stab somebody. Wow. This is really... This is dark. This has this become a dark situation here. Yeah. I'm not sure that... And I'd have to look it up. I'd have to look it up. But I don't know if they're allowed to stab anybody on PG uh, shows. I have to look up the. I don't know if there's like criteria. Oh, you can make gangbang jokes on SmackDown, but you can't stab somebody. Well, okay, you know that's um, two different things, I think. But I'll look that up. Um, that way, on our next show, I can maybe give a breakdown of what's allowed on PG versus TV14, TVMA, um, and whatever else there might be that's out there. Um, I don't know where the stabbings. Uh, what category they fall under. So I'm going to think they're not PG. Regardless, I'm taking Miz to retain the title in this match. Okay, I feel like yeah, that's going to be the move. Uh, I don't think they should move it back to Ambrose. He, I mean, he had the belt for a while, and I think Miz winning it, it'd be nice to leave it on him, and maybe he can have a, a nice another another run with it on Raw this time with the Miz Daraj, and I'm sure they'll come up with another challenger for him um, after Ambrose, and I think it'd also be better suited for Ambrose to move on to something else and some sort of fresh feud for him. So I think that'll be good. 